Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 4. Today we are in the 5th episode of this series and we have Divyendu here with us who has been recently placed at PhonePay as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So PhonePay this year came as a slot 1 company which is a great thing. And before we talk to Divyendu, let's look at the eligibility criteria for this company. So all B.Tech, M.Tech and M.C.A. students were eligible provided they had a 60% or a 6 CGPA in their 10th and 12th as well as in their pursuing degree and in their B.Tech or B.C.A. if uh, they are M.Tech or M.C.A. students with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Divyendu and understand his experience. Hi Divyendu, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, first of all thanks Jishnu. Uh, myself Divindu Vimal and I am currently pursuing Bachelors of Technology from VIT Chennai and my uh, branch is uh, Computer Science and Engineering with specialization in Cyber Physical System. My current CGPA is 9.48 and I recently got placed in phone pay. The, my area of interest includes web development, competitive programming and in sports cricket. That's okay. a bit about me. Okay, that's great. Thank you so much. Um... You cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and what they comprised of. So the placement process started around on 9th of July. There okay. were a total four rounds, the, including the online assessment round. Okay. The online assessment consisted of four questions, uh, which was around lead code hard level. Okay. The question, uh, the questions were. Uh, uh, based on dynamic programming, two of the questions were based on dynamic programming hmm. and other two questions were based on graph plus uh, dynamic programming. Okay. So the level was quite high. Hmm. So in that I was able to solve one question completely and the other question half, half okay. a few test cases were passing for me. Okay. So after that around, uh, around 28 people got shortlisted from 1700 people for the next round. Okay. And we got to know in a mail that uh, there will be three further rounds. The first round being the problem solving round in which we will be given uh, one hour time to solve two questions in pen paper mode in mm. one one on one interview. Mm. So in the first interview, uh, first round, I got two questions which were around medium difficulty okay. of, of lead code. Mm. The first question was based on prefix and suffix concept, uh, which was I was which I was able to do in 20 minutes. And then the second question was a bit difficult. So you can say it was around medium to hard difficulty. Okay. Uh, that that was a graph based question hmm. based on uh, BFS breadth first search. Hmm. So I was able to do those two questions in around fifty five minutes. Okay. And uh, with in that rounds the we had to explain the logic end to end on okay. the pen and paper, hmm. and then. Uh, we had to write the code and we had to explain the code as well, like okay. what you are doing in mm. each and every process. Mm. Mm. Uh, after that, I got a call around after 15 minutes that I was shortlisted for the round two. The round two format was also similar to the round one. Mm. In this also, we got two questions, but the difficulty differed. Like we got both hard questions, okay. lead code hard question in this level. Mm. Uh, the first question was based on dynamic programming. Okay. And the second question uh, was again based on graph. That, okay. we, that was breadth for search. Okay. Uh, hmm. So the first question I took around 30 minutes to solve it. Okay. It was not that hard for me. Like it was based on pick, not pick, subsequence DP. Hmm. Hmm. And the second question was uh, somewhat similar to the first round, uh, second question. Okay. Included the concept of breadth for search. Hmm. But hmm. I was able to do these questions in around 50 minutes. Okay. Uh, then uh, the interviewer told me that he will refer my name for the uh, next round and he asked me a few questions like why you want uh, you want to join phone pay hmm. uh, uh, so as to know that whether I was prepared for the next round as the next round was HR round right right so uh, again we got a call after I got a call after 20 minutes hmm. that, that you are shortlisted for the HR round hmm. the HR round lasted for around one hour and 20 minutes hmm. the first and second round were uh, for one hour each hmm. and the last round was HR round in this question, he asked me questions about technical aspects of my projects. Okay. Some scenarios, some scenarios related to my projects. Like my pro, my uh, stack was one stack. Hmm. So he asked me question related to my projects that why you have selected this project? Uh, what was the ideation? Right. Uh, why did you select uh, a React for making this project? Hmm. Why did you select MongoDB? Hmm. So these were the questions and some scenarios like uh, there are two buttons. Uh, if you click those buttons. 
what will be the back end uh, functionality how mm. will uh, what will be the flow of the project mm. so these were questions related to the technical aspects that was asked in the hr round to me okay then i was also asked some uh, core subjects like operating system concepts related to synchronization deadlocks okay uh, and then he asked me some behavioral questions like uh, uh, some leadership qualities uh, mm. scenarios in which we had to tell that uh, where you showed leadership qualities and also why you want to join phone pay right. what will be the, your learning process if you join phone pay hmm. what will you do in the first two weeks okay so these were the few questions which was asked to me in the phone pay then after few days i got the verdict that i was selected okay that that's was, great that's uh, great process. congratulations again so so the whole process was completed in one day right yeah okay it was completed in one day around it took 6 hours hmm. time for all this Rounds. It was all offline interviews, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. It was all offline interviews. Okay. And each round was elimination round. Okay. Yeah, got it. So finally, how many people were selected? Uh, four people were selected. Okay. 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 That's great. Thank you so much for sharing your experience, and congrats again. So, uh, do you have any suggestions that uh, you would like to share that you learned from your experience or your uh, whatever journey you yeah. had? So the most important aspect was the problem solving skills. It helped me a lot to gain confidence for the further rounds. Right. Like I was able to do all the four questions hmm. which brought confidence in me that I can do it in HR round. Hmm. So I'll give I would like to give the suggestion that uh, uh the guys should focus on the problem solving skills right. and also the technical aspects of the projects. Hmm. Hmm. That is also a major concept for further rounds. That will help us a lot. Okay. In the okay. interviews. And uh, do you have any resources th- that you would like to share that you prepared from? Uh, yeah, I prepared the core subjects from Geeks for Geeks hmm. and few videos on uh, YouTube. Like uh, I did the core subjects in the classes of my college, right. so I had some concepts. Right, right. So just for revision purpose, you can go through one shot videos, or there are articles on Geeks for Geeks, so that you can refer for the important uh, concepts hmm. like hmm. synchronization, deadlocks. these all concepts and normalization in database right right and for coding you can prefer uh, lead code and uh, if you are getting stuck you can refer the videos of striver that helped mm. me a lot for the for concepting my uh, for clearing my concepts in the field of data structure and algorithms right 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 mm. okay thank you so much again for sharing your experience yeah. and for your suggestions thank you Thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, if you found this helpful, please do like, share and subscribe and all the best on your placements. Thank you all for watching.